Hey what's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to reparameterize this curve with respect to arc length. Now in order to do this one what we have to do is first of all we have to find the arc length with given information and replace these t values with arc length right. In terms we have to write the function in terms of arc length. Now let's see how we can do this. So first of all this is our function vector function given and from this one you can see that this is our x value, this is our y value, this is our z value and this is the equation we use to find arc length and in order to do that we have to find the derivative of this x, y, z and plug it in this equation. Now let's go ahead and do that. First of all x is equal to 2t and then y is equal to 1 minus 3t and then z is equal to 5 plus 4t. Now let's take the derivative of each of them. So we are going to find the derivative of them with respect to t. So this is going to be dx over dt, that's equal to 2. And here dx over, actually dy over dt is going to be negative 3. And then dz over dt, that's going to be 4. Now let's go ahead and plug it in this equation. This is going to be L is equal to integration and here they have given the, the question is saying that this is going from 0 and the direction of increasing t. So it means we have to put 0 right here and increasing t means t right here. So let's uh, for example if we had something like uh, if the arc length from t is equal to 1 in the direction of decreasing t you have to put if t is equal to 1, you have to put 1 right here and if it's decreasing t, you have to put a negative t and that's how we represent the limits of integration. Now let's go ahead and plug the other values. dx over dt square, that's going to be just 2 square plus dy over dt square, that's going to be negative 3 square and then dz over dt square, that's going to be 4 square then dt and let's simplify this one 0 to t and here we are going to have 4 plus 9 plus 16 16 plus 9 is 25 25 plus 4 that's going to be 29 so this is going to be actually dt also right here integration 0 to t square root of 29 dt now let's do the integration and if you integrate this one that's going to give you square root of 29t going from 0 to t if you plug this one so if you plug t for t that's going to be just t right 29t and then uh, minus 0 square root of 29 times 0 that's going to be just 0 so the final answer is going to be square root of 29t now we found out the L value that is arc length that is square root of 29 now since we are trying to reparameterize what we have to do is we have to write this one in parametric form like instead of L we have to put S right here that's what we take for this parameter and S is equal to square root of 29T therefore T is going to be equal to S over square root of 29 and finally what we have to do is we have to replace this all the T values with S in terms of we had to write this one in terms of s so that's what we are going to do right here let's get rid of this part because we need space to write that one so final answer is going to be r t of s right because we are writing in terms of c so i mean in terms of s so that's why we put r of t of s and that is equal to 2 times t and uh, that's going to be 2 over square root of 29 and times s in the i direction plus 1 minus 3t so this is going to be 1 minus 3 over square root of 29 times s in the j direction plus 5 plus 4 over square root of 29 
s in the k direction right and this is going to be the final answer and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time